voice layers what is voice open system interconnect seven layers application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer network layer data link layer and physical layer guys you are all working for a service desk right does not mean it is a different thing we have to deal with a different type of situations either it is hardware related or a server related or a networking related but overall so in a any in infrastructure management or infrastructure support or it support so networking is a most key role most important key role and understanding of voice layer is used to troubleshooting in the network related issues we can easily understand and troubleshoot depends upon what kind of error we are getting so we can go through what kind of layer it is responsible based on that we can able to troubleshoot okay so we'll continue the second part of this transport layer kind of stuff so these three parts we have to discuss network layer data link layer physical layers up to transport layer we discuss from transport layer the tcp header plus video become a segment this segment is forward to the network layer the network layer add uh, so is uh, dealing with uh, two important things one is routed protocols another one is a routing protocols what are these routing protocols routing protocols will tell best path selection actually i have to write all those things separately okay but i thought uh, it will become very lengthy okay so i stop doing that one so here it is network layer is a layer 3 okay dealing with a routed protocols and routing protocols routing protocols here it is okay routing protocols tell reach destination routing protocols tells how to reach destination that is first point number 1 so like we know the trace route right trace route trace route is telling how you reach destination okay how do you reach destination it is telling so here it is how to reach destination so shows best path means what is the best path to reach the destination any word you can use it okay shows best path to reach the destination so routing protocols are a normally in a routing the routing a routing so we have a static route and a dynamic route two things are there dynamic routing static routing is there we put a thing in a routing we have a static routing dynamic routing again in a static routing just i am covering uh, this routing concept also here because uh, router is a device we are using here okay so routing static routing uh, means okay manual configuring route paths they are configured manually okay in router in a router so in a router manually we configure the route paths routing concept okay and dynamic routing is dynamic routing 
automatically root paths will configure using routing protocols okay so in this one we have a interior gateway routing protocol exterior gateway routing protocols are there interior gateway routing protocols are rip current version is version 2 igrp is there earlier now it is not there so i am not writing about it eigrp osef open shortest path first so next one is egp exterior gateway routing protocols or is is egp these are the protocols guys there is a hyphen between isis intermediate system intermediate system border gateway protocol so don't think isis means okay uh, that is a terrorist group uh, that is not that that is a different this is different okay isis isis okay isis intermediate system intermediate system this is a exterior gateway routing protocols okay so this is the uh, point of dealing with a protocol so network layer deals with the routing protocols so what is a routing means routing means tells how to reach destination how to reach destination what is the meaning of root root means path right what is the meaning of root root means path so shows best path to reach the destination routing is a static routing dynamic routing static routing is manual so we don't require any additional protocols are there dynamic routing is automatically build root paths will root pass automatically root pass will configure using routing protocols like a rip easrp ospf so this is about your routing protocols next routed protocols are nothing but a ip address in this one we have a ip v4 and a <coughs> ip v6 Okay, we have a IPv4 and IPv6 is there. So, source address, destination, IP address. Source address, destination, IP address. Next, of course, routed protocols are there like a IPX, ESPX, Apple Talk. This kind of uh, uh, addressing part also comes up here. But I don't like that one, so then I will remove this one. Okay, so I like only IP addresses. This original IP addresses are there, so that's why this. So rooted protocols are nothing but a IP address, SPX kind of stuff. In IP address, IPv4, IPv6, 32 bit, 128 bit, represented in decimal format, represented in hexadecimal format like that so it is a network layer right so network layer uh, the device is um, yeah okay that's it yeah still not completed guys what happens in a network layer also is very important right network layer source ip source ip plus destination ip address is added to your segment segment from upper part right so then it is called as a packet packet call it as a packet so this first part is a, a network header 
part is the network header this part is like this this is a network header network header is added to segment then we got a packet the packet is forward to the data link layer okay the packet is sent to data link layer so device example is router guys remember router is a interconnecting device of course the routing routed dealing ip address understanding by router uh, we didn't discuss about it devices networking devices so that's enough this is network layer okay guys understand network layer yes sir next one is data link layer next one is data link layer typing is very easy that's why i'm writing data link layer what is this data link layer it is a layer to so example of devices switch example of devices switch but here in this one we have a two separate layers one is llc again mac layer so logical link control okay logical link control or you can say llc in data link layer okay logical link control it is the upper sub layer of your data link layer okay next what is mac media access control so mac layer is a more interacts with your hardware part llc is a more interacts with your upper layers part means your network layer like that so llc is actually deals with a wan protocols wan protocols normally wan protocols people tell ip address is a wan protocol mac address is a lan protocol no guys wan protocols is layer 2 protocols only not layer 3 protocols wan protocols are like this ppp point to point protocol ppp point to point protocol hdlc okay hdlc is another wan protocol so when you are connecting two networks or when you are communicating from one network to another network over the wan connectivity over the wan connectivity means through internet kind of stuff it is a wan protocols frame relay mpls you know some people are very interested in networking okay so my suggestion is very interested in networking means you want to learn ccna switching routing ccnp kind of stuff so better to learn and as well as learn mpls if you are possibility because of your entire network communication so internet uh, establishment is bigger right big industry internet services are a very big industries right so mpls is uh, one of the uh, technology used in mpls not only this guys atm uh, uh, asynchronous tra transform mode kind of stuff is there okay atm protocols also comes under wan technologies okay cables like v.35 cables also comes under okay v.35 cables also comes under uh, wan connectivity part okay. so cable part it is dte dce connectivity DTE, DCE, okay, 
data uh, termination connection data communication equipment data terminating equipment kind of stuff this uh, terminologies are there so don't worry about it otherwise remove it okay better so llc dealing with a uh, van protocols like a ppp hdlc uh, frame relay and uh, mpls media access control we are all know media access control is so our mac addresses mac related communications right mac addresses we know what it is it's a 48 bit represented in call hexa we know that one right so it is um, also called as physical address how to check get mac another one is ip config slash all also we can recheck it in different way okay so these are two ways so this is a mac address next next one is uh, how to add this thing source mac address plus destination mac address is added to our packet the packet already contains ip address plus crc why this is making me uh, irritate it's not like that now so it is uh, yeah, it is a better option okay so this is again this part source mac address destination mac address is nothing but a your data header data link layer header so also called as data header and there is a, a packet is a usual and then it is data tail okay so dt dh dt dh data tail data header what is this crc that is very important what is crc guys cyclic redundancy check what is the use of this crc crc use it to error checking and error correction possible error correction but important is error checking the packet data what are the packet i received what are the packet i received is it correct data or not is any data is corrupted or correct so that is we can able to get it from crc cyclic redundancy check Okay, cyclic redundancy check. So, what is the outcome of this one? Is nothing but a frame. From where we are getting frame? From data link layer, we are getting frame. Next, device example is nothing but a switch. Example of the device is switch. Okay, guys, data link layer. two layers llc mac media access control also called as a physical mac it contains like a mac address physical address how to check mac address important is we are adding a source mac address when you are sending a packet 
your source MAC address and your destination MAC address and add it to your packet which is came from the network layer and add it to CRC, cyclic redundancy check. It is an algorithm. It's a small packet data is there. So what it is a CRC value. So when at a destination, at a destination, destination check the data is corrected or not. Means corrected data or corrupted data. It checks the data at a destination. Okay. At a receiving end or at a destination. Data will verified or check using CRC. Okay, using CRC value or CRC value. Value is generated by CRC algorithm. So CRC value will be sent. So at a destination, what happened? Data will be verified or a check using CRC value. If it is good, good. If it is not good, it drop the packet. Completed guys. Last one is there. What is the last one? Physical layer. Very good. Last one is a physical layer. So in a data link layer. So we have a frame. The frame is forward to the data link layer. So the frame is converted into bit stream. Converted into bit stream. Uh, yeah, mine little there. Okay, so the frame is converted into bitstream. Bitstream again converts into either the electrical signal or a light wave. Or a radio wave. Signal. Okay. Or a radio wave. So why this is a three options are there. So for example, if I'm using normal Ethernet, then it is electric wave electrical signal right if i am using a fiber channel i have what i am typing if i am using a fiber channel like a HBA type, post bus controller type. It is a light wave. It's a light wave. Okay. For example, I'm using a Wi-Fi kind of stuff. Okay, wireless access point or a Wi-Fi kind of stuff. If I'm using, it is a radio wave. Right, Bluetooth, radio wave, and the stuff. So the way are the based on the hardware devices. Based on hardware device, 
the connectivity bit stream is converted into bit stream converted into electrical signal light wave or a radio waves so like this okay so here it is yeah what is the best example device why this comes under okay like this. so here it is the data is bit stream the frame is converted into bit stream the data is bit stream okay here is the data we got it is frame here is the data we got it is packet and what we receive is a segment what we receive is segment so you can check it segment we receive it from top layer i didn't write any notes specifical notes for this first three layers but i am writing for the bottom layers because uh, i don't like to explain like this i like to explain by writing something on a notes okay guys these are the three important not a three important so uh, there is a seven layers are very important layers for understanding uh, or a troubleshooting and a creating network okay so these are the about osa layers but not completed yes but not completed seven layers application layer presentation layer session layer is there right so here it is understand the seven layers guys these are the seven layers right application layer presentation layer session layer data link layer sorry transport layer network layer data link layer so this is an application layer again i am copying same thing i can copy separately better uh, have to copy separately but i am you know some people teaching from the bottom to top kind of stuff so uh, obviously uh, i said uh, that is also okay so why i told her okay why because of i will tell now because people go by one 1 2 3 4 kind of stuff but in my side i open a browser and then i try to access the web page right so then um, what are the mechanism is happens and finally i will receive the result at my browser only for example i open a website okay so i will see the content on my desktop right first of all i open a site yeah i here it is i open the site for example uh, i open double3schools.com so i can able to see the content on this screen i can able to see the content on the screen so when i requesting and i got it okay the so request go to web server and receive the web page or i want to send a mail the mail sent to the mail server and also i received a mail from the mail server like a, either one way communication or a multiple communication whatever it is so this is for example your thing it is a sender or a source side side this is destination side this is source side this is destination side guys look at physical layer physical layer having a connectivity think like that physical layer is physical layer having a connectivity okay so uh, try to uh, uh, simplifying not a designing uh, it's a drawing is important that's it okay this is my physical layer this is my physical layer 
for example i made a connection it is a bit stream okay depends upon my connection data is transmitted right so before going to that point we come from the application i open a web browser protocol is http protocol and sending a request to the destination or sending a packet to the destination so protocol understand application deal by this layer completed next this part it's not done we have to reach the destination we started journey from the application layer the second part is presentation layer so what happens at presentation layer data is encoded data is encoded encoded right uh, no 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 so it is uh, no, it's not uh, easy to write there so it is i'm not doing that one so in application layer i'm sending a data to somewhere so i have to use a protocol okay and i have to use an application to send it right so this is application layer client side part is completed now what are the data i am sending data is encoded i encode the data here okay encrypt the data I encrypt the data compress the data right i compress the data next in a session layer i create a session so this is the session is started so three layers are completed in a transport layer what are the data is first of all i will cut the doubt data into small parts that is called as segmenting and i put a numbers on it i put a numbers on it in a sequence order and also what are the protocols i am using in this communication i'll keep it separately like a tcp type protocols in tcp box udp protocols in udp box so your transport layer done the the data is generated means the pdu from the transport layer is called a segment what is this segment the data you are adding a tcp header to the transport layer is called a segment this segment is sent to that network layer and uh, your source ip is added means your source pc ip address destination ip address and uh, your segment so this is called a packet this is called a packet the packet is is added with a source mac address and destination mac address to your packet plus crc then it is become frame okay the frame is go to physical layer and it converts into bit stream based on your connectivity electrical signal or light signal whatever it is and uh, this data is sent to physical layer so this is top to bottom now bottom to top what happens physical layer received a bit stream <coughs> reassemble the all the bits as a frame it reassemble everything make it as a frame frame sent to the data link layer frame is sent to the data link layer what frame contains source mac address destination mac address it verifies the mac address is a mac address is belongs to me and uh, what is the source mac address what is this mac address for example this is pca this is pcb so it is check pcs yeah mac address and pcb mac address also and it remove those things and get a and check the data with crc data is good or corrupted data is good or not it check with the crc and check the mac address is belongs to me and who send it there is a guys always to address and from address is there when i am sending to address and from address when i receive it 
two addresses belongs to me or not i have to verify and you send i will get it from from a, from address only when i'm sending to address from address at receiving end two person will verify it is belongs to me or not based on a two address who send it from address same mechanism here i check it this mac address is belongs to me or not and there is a mac uh, pc uh, address is there or not who send it their mac address crc check that data is good or a corrupted and it uh, remove all these things and it got a finally a packet you got a packet what is this packet here it is this packet is forward to the data link layer data link layer in this packet we have a source ip address and destination ip address and we have a segment right so it will verify again to address destination ip is belongs to me or not destination ip address is belongs to me or not and who send it who send it source ip and what is the segment okay this segment is transferred to the data la transport layer in transport layer check the what protocols there are using tcp or udp okay segment number sequence order it will do it and uh, check it this is the request session so we received so it put the session so go complete the session according to the request presentation layer is important again data is encoded here it is decoded when i am sending i encoded receiving and decoded decrypt the data okay you have to decrypt the data you have to this is a compress uncompress the data okay and finally the pdu received uh, the remaining part to application in application again verifies what protocols which application is should is responsible for this protocol which application is responsible for this protocol for example i am sending a http request to web server okay so web server is dealing with a http protocol for example i am sending a ftp protocol to ftp request to a mail server okay mail server deal with a smtp protocol or pop3 or imap protocol but i am sending a ftp protocol so different protocol different type of server or different type of service won't work same protocol same type of service works so that's why it is a protocols are important to understand who what is your request what is your response okay who are sending what are you asking we can understand by protocols only you know for example there is a guy uh, you know sometimes people will call me and ask me sir i am belongs to that patler service desk batch so when is our interview how we know how we know what when you see your interview because i am not your interview scheduling i am taking class okay or maybe some people ask sir this portal is not open i never seen that portal in my life okay so i am only taking the classes so that related information by ravan sir rukhsana madam like that we have to deal with okay any general inquiries or technical questions you can ask me no problem that is the different point okay so like that so for example um uh, some guy came to me and asked me sir uh, i need a leave letter so why should i give i am not a hod or a i am a uh, your class teacher right so why should we give a leave letter okay or maybe uh, you know that's the kind of stuff right so to whom you should give okay so what is your request understand by your protocol what type of protocol based on the what type of service what type of server will respond to that particular request based on your protocols only ftp file servers http http web servers 
SMTP mail servers. Okay, I am sending a NTP request. So then it is it is uh, uh, to a mail server. Not good, right? So that is important. So based on your protocols and what application it is, so we have to understand what is the application is responsible. So that particular service understand your request and reply backs. Okay, when it is replying again, protocols port numbers. Next, presentation layer, encode the data, encrypt the data, compress the data. Session is continuous and transport layer is a separate TCP UDP, segment the data, sequencing numbering. Network layer, add at source and destination IP address. This time, this is the source. This is the destination. OK, the IP address will be changed to and from address will be changed, right? Like you are replying your two address is your two address only from address is this one, right? So source IP destination IP added to your uh, segment, then it is become packet and uh, source MAC address and destination MAC address. Again, this is the source MAC address. This destination MAC address will be added new CRC CRC again new CRC will be added then it become a frame the frame is forward to physical layer convert into bitstream the bitstream is again into electrical signal or kind of stuff okay so finally it receives this side again it is go to up okay so here it is bottom to top top to bottom protocols that's why Either you follow the top to bottom related or a bottom to top related, not at all a big deal. Guys, understand how voice layers are works, understanding your network related. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So there is a small Two more points are there. One is a troubleshooting, another is a TCP IP comparison. So now I'm going to TCP IP comparison, guys. This is OSA layer. Because of this comparison, a lot of people think TCP IP came from. A lot of people think TCP IP layers came from OS layer now TCP IP layers are uh, older layers than a OS side okay so only for our understanding we can see so this is the application layer presentation session layer in TCP IP we have only four layers only there so here it is the application layer it's a combination of these three layers Transport is transport layer. Network layer is a called as a internet layer. I'm talking in a manner of DOD model, guys. So if you search in an internet, uh, you will get a different type of things. But I'm talking in a original context only. Okay. Network access layers. So again, we have to insert something. Very good. So this is um, outline weight, and this is good. Now we'll go to copy this and paste. So again, OSA layer, TCP/IP protocol suit, TCP/IP protocol suit. So that is. is application layer yeah we can uh, reduce the distance also no problem okay this is distance not writing anything right so like network layer also called as the internet layer 
the transport is transport transport is transport layer no change in the transport layer so we are all using tcp ip layers only not ipx spx or apple talk or osa layers okay transport is transport network layer is also called as a internet layer Uh, data link layer and uh, physical layer combinedly we call it as a network access layer if you need arrow marks i will put arrow marks also uh, not a big deal so real direct arrow marks are there anything so triangle is there so we'll uh, change the direction this is a triangle as some people want a very accurate even they don't understand anything but accuracy is very important <laughs> i don't like that so i need a random knowledge not highlighted knowledge yeah. it's okay so understand we are all using tcp ip transmission control protocol and internet protocol this is the protocol suit this is a protocol suit next some people may ask a question sir uh, you have a nic nic is a physical layer or a data link layer nic is a tcp ip belongs to ccp ip in that one network access layer okay it is a in a tcp ip protocol cert it is belongs to network access layer data link layer and physical layer combination it is so network interface card or lan card or a ethernet card okay so our ethernet card so comes under network access layer not belongs to osi direct layer it is a combination of data link layer and physical layer how can i tell how can i tell nic having a mac address yes data link layer mac address nic is a physical device and physical connectivity it is a physical device and it is a there is a physical connectivity where you are connect your cable or anything so that is called a nic cable Uh, it's a picture wise it is very good so, os layers and the transport layer yeah, that is enough <laughs> good looking one so again guys last one by troubleshooting how to understand yo oh, very good very good. leave it somewhere i have written very good so how to understand for a troubleshooting purpose we'll see that one okay so look at here guys layer wise checking layer wise checking so you have got a problem with your network you have to check layer wise okay you have to understand issues by layer wise look at here physical layer mainly belongs to physical connectivity for example i am not getting internet so what you will do so i will check it my adapter right so my may i have a connection or not i didn't get any internet i am unable to communicate in the network 
are you able to connect like is it showing a cross mark okay can you see this is there is a cross mark this is a signal enabled this is connectivity it is not connected check your adapter whether it is connected or disconnected physical connectivity is important okay check the physical connectivity what is the first troubleshooting network osa layer troubleshooting okay some people put it in setting they don't know what it is layer wise troubleshooting they said like i know uh, osa layer troubleshooting what is osa layer troubleshooting layer wise you can understand the network and we can able to troubleshoot so here it is um check the physical connectivity okay so next one is data link layer is like a crc value is there but we don't know exactly uh, crc value part so we'll see one more issue i am trying to ping from one pc to another pc so i am unable to ping it so i am giving getting a some problem for example i am pinging or i am trying to communicate from one pc to another pc so for example pinging like a ping is a test or right so 192.168.11.11 uh, uh, something like a 1 not 1 so what are it is problem is request time dot i am getting or a destination host not reachable okay either i am getting request time dot or a destination host not reachable there is a possibility that ip address issue right ip address related issue unable to connect so it can be a your ip address issue or destination ip address issue or network id issue so why it is network related issues why 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 this is okay it it can be a uh, network uh, id related issues or ip address related issues destination ip address is wrong okay so ip address destination ip address wrong or your network both are not in a network both are in a not in a same network there is another possibility rotor functionality rotor functionality default gateway problem default gateway problem so i didn't tell about a default gateway right so tomorrow definitely we'll discuss about a devices and default gateways hardware troubleshooting also we'll see this is a network troubleshooting guys important okay so ip addresses issue it can be there or ip address configuration related issues improper configuration improper network or a subnet mask related issues no i check network connectivity is good i checked a network connectivity is good ip address is good ip configuration is also good i don't have any doubts in the ip configuration i check my my ip configuration and destination configuration my ip address is good i got a ip address from dhcp server mainly so i got a very good clean ip address here i know it because i got a default gateway dns dhcp addresses also good but still i have a problem i am unable to communicate unable to send a pinging problem in a transport layer there is a problem is like a firewall you see your firewall is blocking your communication okay firewall blocking communication there is a it firewall blocks your communication ipsec these are things this ipsec firewalls works at a check your firewall check the ip security kind of stuff okay this works in a transport layer this works in a transport layer firewalls ip security related kind of stuff acl kind of stuff 
axis control is kind of stuff. Okay, so these are uh, um, basically oxide transport layer. Yeah, session layer, one more point is there, so then we'll see that one. Here it is. Encryption, main important is encryption problem will occur. For example, my website is HTTP, yes, HTTP site, HTTPS site, but I use HTTP problem, encryption related problem. All right, uh, FTP, VS FTP, very secure file transfer protocol. Okay, normal POP3 to POP3 power SSL. Okay, so these kind of issues will be there mainly in a encryption method. Mainly in a encryption. Yeah, finally, application related issues are there. Okay, for example, server not available. That is a system related. For example, web page not there. How do you know web page is not there? 404 error, you will get it. Look at, I'm showing that 404 error. Uh, I'm open something like a you know i open a python page so you can see this url and there is a thing like this what i'm trying to do is i'm putting something here so i'm trying to open this particular page the page is not available at the server so what i'm getting for not for page not found for not for page not found if you get a for not for page not found Example, 404, page not found. Meaning is, is your problem or their problem? You are a client and you are accessing a web page. You got 404, page not found. Means server don't have that page. Or you are open a wrong URL. You are open a wrong URL. You enter the data wrongly. Can tell me? So this is, you are getting this issue. So it may be application related issue. Understand which layer, which problem. So understand guys, which layer, what kind of problem it is. Based on that, we have to troubleshoot it. It can be a physical connectivity issue or it can be IP address related issues or network connectivity issues or routing related issues. Unable to connect routing, router related issues. Okay. Or it can be uh, a firewall block related issues, or maybe it is a encryption related issues, or maybe uh, application related issues, web server application, or a mail server application means, for example, mail server down. Mail server is down. I cannot able to send a mail or a receive a mail. Mail server destination related issue. We don't know. Your application related issues. Your web browser is not working properly. You have a problem within your web browser. You are giving a wrong protocols. Okay, you are giving uh, HTTP instead of HTTPS. Or a, a, you have to use HTTP, but you are using SMTP protocol. Wrong protocols, wrong servers. You have to check in that manner, guys. Again, I'm going understand the issues check the issue based on the issue which layer is responsible based on that you can able to solve the problems okay so again guys if you are uh, uh, from top to bottom i'm going you are getting 404 page error means Server don't have that page 
or you are giving wrong page. Okay, you are giving a wrong protocol. For example, you are giving a, a wrong protocol like this. You are giving a FTP protocol. Okay, so for example, so this is a normal website. Website link is correct, but you are giving a, uh, a wrong protocol. So it is not open. It is showing something like that. But it is a wrong protocol. Or maybe you are giving a wrong destination. Okay, your URL is wrong. Your destination is wrong. Okay, in this case also you are not getting. Maybe the remote server is down. The remote server is down. Your mail server is down. Web server is down. FTP server is down. It is also like their application is down. Or, or my, my, my client application is wrong. Okay, my client application is wrong or maybe my outlook is not working properly okay so it, there is a issues or maybe you are giving a wrong protocols that's what i showed i showed wrong protocols or wrong urls wrong domains wrong addresses okay it is a possible that it is problem occurs at application layer side next encryption decryption so this encryption models http https FTP telnet, SSH telnet, different protocols, but SSH is a, a encrypted format. Telnet is no encryption in it. Okay, so here it is like this. This is a secure, non-secure. So encryption related issues will occur. In a transport layer wise means you are uh, pinging. You are not getting reply. You are getting a request timed out there is a possible your firewall is block the communication at firewall so i put a like this at firewall what i configure what i configure is uh, do not allow okay some protocols like a icmp protocol Okay, so what happened? Ping is not allowed. So it is a protocol, right? T TCP UDP protocol sharing is there at a transport layer. It check the all the protocols. What kind of protocols you are doing? So uh, it does not allow SMTP protocol or a uh, T HTTP protocol or a SCM uh, ICMP protocol. So I am not allow FTP protocol. I don't allow Telnet protocol. Okay, so like this, we can able to control it at a firewalls. So that is, you are unable to communicate. You you are able to communicate with a uh, one kind of protocol, but not with a other kind of protocol. Okay, so that meaning is, at firewall it is maybe blocked, or maybe sometimes at firewall the protocols or uh, port numbers or IP addresses are blocked, so you can't able to communicate. So it is basically works at a transport layer. Protocols, port numbers, five points here. Next network layer, guys. It's a very important. You are giving a wrong IP address, wrong IP address, wrong network, improper routing, no routing, routers, router related issue. Router, you have to use a router for a different communication. So that is a related issues. For example, already I told, I'm sending a request to a, a system the ip address is wrong the ip address is different but i am giving wrong ip address so obviously i am not getting reply so obviously this is network related issues are you configured with the wrong ip address okay you are configured with a something wrong with this ip address or a network related see it is 29 i am using a 11 both are in a different networks both are in a different networks. So network related issues. Look at here. This is Apipa. And this is another network. This is 192 series. This is 172 series. Different networks. Class A, class B kind of stuff. The problem is, right? So we are unable to communicate. Either can be it is a network related issues or IP address related issues, routing related. Or router related issues can be there. 
physical layer connectivity so it's a mainly it is connectivity related issues so two points i didn't written anything one is a session layer data link layer data link layer mainly we thought about your uh, mac address but it is also wan connectivity related issues network internet related issues okay wan connectivity related issues mac is very less problem so mac is very uh, mac address related issues are very less next session layer this is a purely one example is there guys for example i'm telling the story here okay i i am downloading file from remote server server name is server a okay through a network or a internet through a network next through a network network name is network a so what happened i changed my network to network b change my network to network b okay what happened here okay so what happened what i happen uh, download stop download is stopped okay so i uh, have to stop i have to download from beginning so why because of what is the reason behind it why because of thus the session is terminated due to this connection or change of network so this is very simple to understand this one yeah guys i will tell you a real time scenario real time problem i faced okay so i faced this problem look at here so here it is when i when i am you know uh, i am trying to reserve a vacation so like i open irctc website this is for real i faced the problem irctc app in mobile okay in mobile okay so internet is uh, wifi internet okay using wifi wifi internet is there act internet that time so what happened so i am doing a tatkal ticket that time so i open a i connected with a wifi network and open a irctc app and i am start doing all the work okay so uh, so enter data okay enter data so then la next one is payment right so on process of payment what happened power cut what happened i got a power cut so when i got a power cut what happened guys you are connected to wifi and uh, there is a power cut what will happen mobile connected to your 4g network right 
G network. So I can continue. Right. But there is a problem. Session is different. Because earlier I used a different network. Now I'm using different network. Session is different. So payment not continued. What I have to do? I have to close IRCTC app connects again with the 4C only network. And try to and uh, try to finish reservation. Okay. So point is here, guys. The how this session layer works. How the session layer works means it establishes the session when you are communicating through a network whether network is down whether network is down or maybe you change the network so what happened you cannot able to continue the session you can't able to the continue the section so this is a suggestion for downloading people who are downloads that's a suggestion is Use FDM, Free Download Manager, or IDM, Internet Download Manager, for even though you are getting network disconnections, frequent network disconnections kind of stuff, okay. or a change of networks, you can continuously download uh, after you got internet. Okay, so this is a session layer problem. What it is, whenever uh, network is changed or have a network is disconnected for some time your your downloads base displays will be interrupted okay sometimes is completely gone from it okay so that is a session layer related guys understand how to troubleshoot the network depends upon the scenario which one you do it that one is important here okay Connectivity is there, IP address is there, but page is not loading. So it is a problem with your web server or URL or IP address or some other information is completely wrong. Okay, so check the bottom to top or top to bottom for a troubleshooting purpose. I hope you got little bit points. If you don't understand completely also, it is not a big deal guys. So you don't work, no need to worry about that one. Okay. So this is about your OS layers and also already told about devices. Uh, I thought I will tell something but uh, nothing. Okay, so tomorrow, so we are going to discuss about uh, routers, switches and all and uh, the devices uh, we'll discuss. Uh, also already the devices thing is there here. Um, guys, uh, again, I forget to tell few things the commands here there is a root command erp command is also there so i added these commands yesterday so i told only ping command trace rt command ns lookup command netstat command ip config in ip config varieties okay also we discussed about get mac and this is a erp this is root p command is also there you want to check that uh, root p it, uh, it prints the print table so it is not printing completely so i will put a so what happened uh, root print hyphen 4 why it is why 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 any 
routing information related uh, uh, routing information related things this is the interface related this is ipv for routing table uh, related information okay so to whom to whom there is a communication how it will be communicate destination interface kind of stuff okay persistence route okay ipv6 routing table so you want to check the routing table the command is root print root print ri pin okay root print what is arpa arpa shows your ARP address resolution, address resolution protocol, ARP address resolution protocol shows IP address and MAC address of destination pieces. So this is my uh, my IP address. OK, and these are the MAC address of my destination pieces. Of course, it's not there anything, not showing anything here, but we will get it. So that is the thing. So ARP address resolution protocol. Okay hey guys, that's it for today. So then compulsory go through all the things what we are discussed. OSA layers are also important. Compulsory seven layers. If you cannot understand by how did no volume application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, data link layer and physical layer and the protocols also at least five to six protocols, regular protocols. I given a 15 to 16 protocols. At least remember, try to remember as maximum as you can do it. Five, six, seven, eight like that as maximum you can able to do it. You can try it. This is a three or belongs to uh, um, um, mail communication related. These are two web related communication. This is upload download of files. These three are belongs to remote access or remote connectivity related. This is remote configuration related. This is for a uh, accessing DHCP DNS. Uh, that is I will explain later. OK, authentication related. OK, remember as for it, if you don't understand one or two protocols, it's OK and leave it. But remaining is just point out and OS layers each layer their responsibilities and what is TCP UDP differences is the most common question. OK, so other things like uh, uh, already I explained one by one layers last three layers I explained uh, in a text manner, but here it is information is also there here. So you don't have to worry about it. OK, next uh, uh, layer to layer. Uh, uh, communication how it is happen from a source to destination and destination to source kind of stuff means PCA to PCB. I explained it and comparison between OS layer to TCP IP layer. So if you enter you are asking tell me about TCP IP layer application transport internet and network access layer and OS layer wise troubleshooting means so if you got in any issues. So what is the suitable layer? you are uh, belongs to it based on that you have to troubleshoot it okay or you can check it from bottom to top or top to bottom based on the issue you have got it so then you can troubleshoot the network any scenario you take it you are unable to send a mail so do you have internet or not you are unable to send a mail do you have a internet or not So this is again it is came. So here it is. So you can take a questions one by one like a uh, you can search in a go, uh, Google also unable to. Uh, send mail. Or you can say. Uh, uh, receive mail or both. Mail not mal. OK, so unable to send a mail unable to receive a mail. OK. 
remote desktop not connecting check this questions and find out some answers from it okay remote desktop is not connecting remote desktop is not connecting okay remote desktop is not connecting the internet is not working and what you do internet is not working what you will do okay mm. ping request is uh, request timed out i'm getting request timed out what you will do or if you got a destination not reachable what you will get it okay so how to test both are connecting or not okay unable to open websites with the name okay it is related to dns problem so how do you solve the dns problem like that guys what i am trying to is find out as many as problems related to the networking and find out those solutions it will give you more understanding of uh this troubleshooting related okay find out like this few of uh, you kind of stuff okay firewall related issues that's it for today guys so have a lunch and join in class any doubts please tell me now all